Hey everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. We are doing a Mystery Mystic reading. We are exploring the disappearance of Miguel Mack. Miguel is a First Nations 24-year-old man missing out of Merritt, British Columbia. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Krista from Auntie K. She's also a lovely uh, member of my Poise to Leap membership, and she sent me uh, the information, or at least dropped me the name of Miguel so we could be able to raise awareness about the fact that he's been missing, and he's been missing since February 27th, 2023, and his family and the community has been tirelessly looking for him. So, Spirit, we're coming to you to ask for divine insight surrounding Miguel's disappearance. Perhaps you can share with us clues on where he may be at or what may have happened. And we thank you for your divine insights and divine prophecy. Thank you, Spirit. We'll just first do this opening oracle message and this helps me later on down the line should we do some additional readings such as like a more like detailed tarot and oracle reading right okay zoom in in just a moment but I'll we call them out here we've got tooth we've got diamond all right harp Saturn devil okay skull herb herb and iceberg Okay. All right. So I'll zoom in so we can get a closer look at these cards. And let's do that. So I bring it closer. Okay. So we start out with the tooth card. Okay. And my apologies for any noises you may hear in the background. This is about a difficult separation. The tooth card can also represent an illness, um, something that is aching at you, bothering you. The devil is sitting underneath the tooth and alongside the skull card. And what this is telling me is that something was like gnawing at him, bothering him. You know how when you get a toothache and until you can really... Uh, fix it or remove the tooth it's going to keep bothering you and, and just bothering you and bothering you and this could be that this could have been something with Miguel doing that for someone else or someone being that for Miguel with the tooth card okay the tooth card also represents Losing something considered permanent. What could someone have lost that was deemed permanent? Something of, something of importance to them. You know how a limb is important in, to ourselves and we would assume that it's permanent until it's gone, until it's removed, until it's taken. Something of, something of importance. And something considered permanent taken away hmm. this card deals with 
something of value. Getting clarity about a situation. It can also mean um, someone in a high position, like someone considered or deemed in a high position. I'm not quite sure what that means. And maybe people who are closest to him understand, like there could be someone around him or even him himself is in a high position. Um, like what I mean by that is the royalty keyword is associated with diamond. So that's what I mean by that. Um, it can represent, it can represent like lasting, enduring love, but I don't, I feel a weakness to that key meaning. It also can represent a promise, but I can't get over how it could represent somebody feeling like they're invincible. Somebody feeling invincible as it relates to Miguel and his disappearance. And it could also represent that maybe he felt invincible at one point. The harp can represent, it can represent music, a sound, a calling, peace, eternal peace, experiencing a, a space of eternal peace. The Saturn card is about adversity, hardships, male sexuality or male dominance. I'm getting a strong pull for male dominance. Authority and someone trying to have control over a situation, absolute control, power, exerting power and authority kind of ties back into what we were talking about a bit with the diamond card with um, someone feeling like they're high up and, and, and needs to be exalted if you will now we move over here to the devil The devil card can represent evil, nasty habits, deceit, and abuse. So I'm getting a sense here that something was going on. Something was going on around him. And I will say this. I don't know much at all about Miguel's case. I just know the, the particulars of the, you know, what the news reports um, that I could find on the internet. There's not much. I didn't go searching around on Facebook. I just wanted to see what came up. And so this is pretty much a blind reading. So I'm not quite sure what else is going on with him here, but there is some kind of ongoing issue. Dealing with someone who either has a nasty habit, maybe even lost some teeth, this could represent tooth loss as well. Like I mentioned earlier, it could represent that the person has a missing tooth um, or missing teeth. It could be that he's caused permanent, like, you know, he's caused tooth loss either to Miguel, God forbid, or to um, just people in general, like a reputation, if you will. It's interesting to me. If we are called to do a part two for Miguel's reading, I do plan to work with some additional decks, you know, I, for sure Tarot, but also like my Defining Characteristics Oracle that I made where I can see what kind of traits, characteristics, physical attributes of the person. But for now, we're just sticking to what are the overarching energies surrounding what may have happened to him and maybe some clues on where he may be. Yeah. This is not boding well sitting next to the skull card. I will say that. 
A skull card can represent the main first keyword is death, you know, making that transition. It can represent change as a result of this devil. of a cycle somebody either wanted to usher in an end of a cycle as it relates to Miguel I pray and hope that it's just meaning that a, a situation had to change and maybe he had to leave but I'm sensing that we're going to gain more insight in, you know, in the fact that something has happened to Miguel that he has crossed over and and you know, I have had readings where the devil has come up and it doesn't necessarily mean someone. Oh, my goodness. Is it... Hold on. I'm going to have to close the window. Isn't that weird? There's some dog and something's happening. Oh my God. Sorry, you all. Okay, something's going on out there, and I'm not going to go explore and see what it is. It sounds like an animal, but that is interesting that it comes up here. It's like sometimes the devil card can come up when someone is experiencing a, you know, negative habits, negative traits within themselves, and it could lead to their demise. So there is a very small chance, but I'm sensing here with this Saturn card and the devil card that this is saying no. This is someone who has caused this transition to happen. Someone outside of Miguel. Um, so that's what I'm picking up on here. And then we have the herb card. This is like an earthy element to me, like planted, like buried or planted among the herbs, a, a special herb, a healing herb. I don't know, like how that ties into the reading here. Um, it does represent medicine, one of the key words. Maybe someone who gave a medicine or uses medicine or works with medicine. Um, hmm. I know that he is First Nations, um, and I'm probably going to Oh, I don't even want to, I don't want to mispronounce um, his tribal name. I don't want to do that, but um, I don't know, something tied to that medicine. And also, this card can mean may indicate something to add. Or avoid in your life. Maybe you're getting too much medicine. Maybe you're not getting enough medicine. Maybe you need more. But it also could be a natural element. Sometimes we can find clues in where a person may be or where some key information or key evidence is located. And it, it's something with herbs, something where herbs grow robustly or um, somewhere herbs are stored that uh, Miguel knows about. I suppose it could, you know, be something like medicines, like pharmaceuticals. I don't know. But medicinals, medicine. And then we have the iceberg card. Now, this card again, obstacles, lots of obstacles going on around Miguel. So this is like a sustained period of time. This means that whoever knows about his disappearance and old, you know, and perhaps transition, who had a hand in it, even um, this is someone that he may know obstacles with this person, hidden emotions, problems run deep. This is a deep situation. This goes deeper than the, what meets the eye. 
Oh, hold on, I wanna be able to see his picture. Okay, there he is. So problem runs much deeper than we know or we can see. Sometimes this comes up when there's like an obstruction in the road or something where it could look one way, like he could have had a misadventure. Uh, it could look like he had a misadventure, but really something else is going on here. A full, you know, a, a very detailed, and hopefully they would be able to, God forbid, if he has transitioned over, do a, you know, a thorough and get a complete result on any, you know, exams, we'll just say. I won't put it off into the universe, but exams that happen either more, you know, while a person's alive or post mortem, and it can really see what's what's not at face value. It could be um, that he's near a body of water. It could even look like this, something like a mountain or some jutting out of a water, out of the water. But a situation that runs deep. That's what I'm picking up on here. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. So we're going to pull some, just some additional Oracle so we can hone in a bit on what's going on here. We, I do pick up on foul play elements with the devil card, especially and Saturn. Okay, we have accusations. Investigation, investigator, PI. Okay. Let me zoom out because I want you all to be able to see me shuffle. Okay. Spirit, what else can, are you willing to share with us about Miguel? About what may have happened? Where he's at? Drama field? Paperwork or paper trail? Circumstantial evidence? Computer? Huh. Screensaver keeps coming on. Okay. Friends and associates. Okay. I'm going to stop there for now. We can pull from different decks if I need, need to. But let's talk about it here. So we've got accusations. In this deck that I've made, this is my Secrets Revealed True Crime Oracle. I have a card that says, a hundred. it's a 160 card deck, and I have a card that's titled False Accusations. And I have all like cards that talk about rumors, you know, the propaganda, all this different types of things that can happen when you have a missing persons case or when you have something that could involve some um, nefarious activity. And this card came up, accusations, not false accusations, but accusations. So maybe in, in the community or amongst the friend group, they know of someone or know of someone that could possibly have some information. Um, that the, So this is not false information. If it does come out, it actually has weight about someone who may have last been with him, last seen him, last, um, or people know about a drama-filled situation. Okay, we see that here. We have investigation, investigator, PI. I don't know if the family has hired a PI or not. Uh, maybe this is just indicating that they is guidance to hire one if they haven't done so already, or it could represent that in the future they will. 
Um, it represents they have. But this is speaking to me on something else. Spirit wants to let us know that the authorities do have some information already. Okay. They have information on what may have happened to Miguel. It's just not released to the public. They're aware of accusations towards a particular someone. And they they have a, a pulse on, on what's going on here. Okay. They do. Um, we have drama filled. So this speaks to, remember how I was saying there's a lot of obstacles, challenges, um, adversity going on in this situation. There's evidence. Um, there's a paper trail, paper work, lots of paperwork to go through or to dredge through records, some sort of records that the authorities have to sort through. This also could speak to red tape that may occur with trying to apprehend someone. Okay, this could be coming. This could be something that happens down the line um, in the investigation. A lot of red tape to cut through and get through legalities that have to be addressed that may be challenging and difficult to overcome as it relates to his case. It's like the authorities will have their sights set on someone, uh, but they're going to have a difficult time being able to differentiate with whether or not, um, you know, what happened just before Miguel crossed over, if it's highly suspected or reason that he passed away, what happened while he was live and alive in his last moments. It could be that they don't have any evidence that could prove that he isn't alive. They don't have any evidence to prove that he has crossed over. Maybe this for, you know, maybe this is uh, also a sign that he is alive. You know, I, I can be allowed to be the eternal optimist here, but I, I'm interpreting the card in relation to all the other cards and what my intuition is saying. And I just sense that with law enforcement, with this card coming out, is that they're, they're going to have a hard time being able to prove one way or the other. And yeah, they're going to have information, circumstantial evidence. And, and there have been many a cases, at least in the United States that I'm aware of, that have been adjudicated and um, people have been sent away for, you know, based on circumstantial evidence. So you don't necessarily count it out just because a case is highly circumstantial. No, you have to have, though, the totality of the evidence speaking to it likely happening this way. I don't know how the jurisdictions are in Canada and what their burden of proof is there. I don't know if it's similar to the United States, but um, yeah. And this computer card ties in with the paperwork um, trail, just having to comb through records after records after records. Also, computer can, for me, at times represent the computer data information found on phones, emails, text, you know, text or social media posts and or emails or just some sort of computer data capturing. It could also be um, computer footsteps, footprints um, made either by Miguel in the days, hours, um, even weeks leading up to his disappearance, and also whoever they they are sensing that there's a, accusations being made either by a friend group or people in the community, whispers um, that law enforcement has to be able to work through and, and be able to justify getting, maybe it was, what is that, a warrant, a subpoena, I don't know, computer records. Computer records may be key. And circumstantial evidence is, is telling me that it may be difficult for law enforcement if, to A, find him. And if they do find him, it may be difficult to determine exactly what happened to him. You know, with this iceberg card. Then we have friends and associates. Friends and associates. Now, this is also telling me that this is somebody who's in and is either an associate or friend of Miguel, who 
knows or has information or is directly involved. Um, not family, not, I don't, you know, it may be a coworker, but I'm feeling like it's friends and associates energy. Um, not even lover energy. So this is telling. Also, remember how I was saying accusations. Uh, maybe there's some people in the associates or acquaintances or friends group that knows about this devil. This devil feels like this person power trips from time to time, I guess you could say. I don't know. Uh -uh. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just going to try to get one card from this one. Spirit related to Miguel's disappearance. Okay, yeah. We got per chance to dream. If you've watched some of my readings in the past for my Mystery Mystic series and you know when this card comes up, for me it usually means that someone has had a hand in causing someone else to go into a permanent dream state. You see how there's two persons here? And I'm not getting a sense that this is like someone who's rescuing someone from a dream. This feels like someone who's is helping someone to go into a, a what I call a permanent dream state. It usually also symbolizes someone who has crossed over at the hands of someone else. So if you know, sometimes also too, you all, I've been covering cases where police will swear up and down almost that a case has. Um, criminal elements or it feels highly suspicious or that they didn't they don't think they left on their own and then later on it comes out that they've totally changed their theory thinking you know kind of reporting that someone may have you know unalived themselves or um that it was an accident or a misadventure situation and i say all that to say is that it's interesting to me that the cards for me are not saying that they're saying that something else, something did happen, not at, at Miguel's doing to himself, but at the hands of someone else. And law enforcement is aware. That's what I'm, I'm picking up on here, okay? Because of this, I'm going to use this particular deck. I don't always like to use it right away, but we're just going to get car just to see forensic science field will provide important clues and this could be whether i mean he could be alive and if you still need forensic evidence especially if there's a criminal element um that's involving um a kidnapping right All right, so I already mentioned this on forensic science field will provide important clues. Okay, the next one is the perp is out of the area, could be just immediately out of the county line, um, maybe clear across the country, or just not in the immediate area. Comes and goes, doesn't have a permanent residence. In that area multiple people were involved in the crime it could be that multiple people are involved in the crime like for example um, they have information after the fact they help after the fact or it could be that someone did have a hand and moving him doing something to him um, at the behest of this devil this person who I said I feel like has is like complete authority. It may or may not come out in the in the future about all those who may know something or who may have been indirectly or directly involved. But there's one main person. One main person out of here with the devil card and Saturn. OK, 
February. September. What I'm going to do is just pause for a moment so I can scoot all of these down and then bring these up a little bit so we'll have room for just a few more cards on the table. I'll be right back. All right, had to shift everything over and I didn't want you all to wait while I do that. Okay, so these are the cards that have jumped so far from the Divine Crime Oracle. We got February, September. These two months will be of importance to the case. It could either mean that developments will happen or it could represent that he went missing um that something happened he crossed over in february he went i guess the last time he was seen was february 27th so maybe something shortly thereafter happening to him um it also could mean that something of importance is learned or revealed in an upcoming february or it could be tied to um, a date associated with court or with um, the developments in the case, major developments happening, it could represent someone's birthday, okay? Um, someone who's majorly involved in the case, it could represent their birthday month. Same goes for September. September, similar thing where um, it could represent someone's birthday, um, significant developments happening in the investigation or the prosecution, surrounding um, this case. Um, what's interesting to me is we have city, urban, and crowds. Could this person have left out of town to go blend in with the urban environment? It. I don't know. I don't know what's the nearest major city or town. Um, and if, if it's close or if it's far, um, it could represent somebody from out of town, a city, an urban environment. It could represent that maybe he went to an urban environment. Um, but that's interesting to me. Uh, we got natural causes, which I found interesting because now I'm never going to rule it out these days. Um, maybe he was left out in the elements and he ultimately succumbed to natural causes. But someone knowing that willingly putting him in a place where they could really hurt him to a point where he could not move to get to help and he ultimately succumbs to natural causes that's a possibility that's why like i said it's with law enforcement even if they do find him there's going to be some challenges in being able to really prove um cause of death okay god forbid that that's something they have to do Hopefully, this just simply means he is found alive. Train tracks. This, when I first saw this card, the instant thing I thought of was maybe this is somebody from the wrong side of the tracks, is what they, we old time saying in America. Wrong side of the tracks. Somebody who's a little rough around the edges. Um, or maybe they live actually by the train tracks. Or maybe they took a train. Or maybe they hitched on a train or something like that. You know how, what is they call them? Not vagabonds. I forgot what you call people who stowaways, right? Who um, hop on trains and take off to another environment, something of that nature. It could be that he's near, near train tracks. Like train tracks could be in a, a landmark not too far from where he is. Hmm. Okay. I'm called to pull a few more cards related to Miguel Mack, missing out of Merit. Merit, British Columbia. Yeah. He has tattoos, but this could be some some importance, some kind of markings that I could identify someone who 
is being accused or will be accused. Try this again. One card, please, Spirit. One card, please. Oh, man. Fine, fine, fine. Spirit is insisting I keep all these on the table, so I'll oblige and listen. <laughs> okay, so before I do that, though, let's talk about these cards. We've got new identity, don't want to be found, fresh start, new life. Somebody is really thinking that they can start a new life, that they take on a new identity so people need to be careful the perp or the person who is responsible or had a hand in this um, has the propensity to just up and leave town try to start over okay this also could represent that maybe miguel wanted to start over right i mean it could very well could um tied up bound tied up or bound Remember I was saying just a few moments ago that I get a sense like there's something preventing him from moving, something binding him to the ground, preventing him from being able to freely move his legs, his arms. Um, I don't know. Again, this card is interesting to me and worrisome at the same time. It says a thousand plus kilometers. This could represent, sure, it could represent he left, but I don't get a sense of that. His family doesn't see, say that he gives any indi indication that he would just wander off and leave. So this could be representing the perps, either the perps plan to travel that far or they've already traveled that far or they have a spot where they can go that far. Okay, suffocation. That could be also why it may be difficult to really, truly be able to tell what happened to him as time goes on. Time is of the essence to find him, we know. But it would be so helpful if they find him. The sooner, the better. Yes, alive, preferably, God, please. However, if he has transitioned over, the sooner, the better to preserve evidence. Um, so we have suffocation. Somebody also wanting to suffocate the truth. Cave inside underground tunnel. This also could mean somebody maybe going underground. Or it could literally mean that he's in some sort of element, like some, some something here tight. It makes me claustrophobic looking at it. A natural kind of surrounding here. Maybe we're wild, er these wild herbs grow, I don't know. But very restricted movement like suffocation this person may have changed their appearance new hairstyle different clothing makeup facial hair so um maybe even covering special tattoos in the future or an attempt to do so or maybe there's something about their tattoos that provides clues um it could also just simply be spirit just affirming yes miguel has tattoos or maybe there's something of importance Maybe him and this person at one point got tattoos together. I don't know, but that's of significance. We have male child victim. I don't know if my memory serves me correctly or not, so I don't want to put it out there, but maybe someone could answer me if they know if he has children or not, if he has a son or children. We have male child victim. Could represent, you know, when someone is missing or lost or crossed over, there is, you know, and there's children involved. Well, they too are a victim. It, the key word also here, victim, stands out. Male and victim. And then we have cold case. Cold case. So what this is telling me is that this case has, not that they won't necessarily know what or why it happened, but they may not be able to find evidence or be able to prove it or have that quote unquote smoking gun. Um, they just have a circumstantial case that may not be enough to get what they need done. So it could have the potential, not saying it will, but this case has the potential of going cold. All right, one more card, Spirit, so we can just round it out. No, oh. <sighs> It has. It's like, we 
got the male victim. I wonder if there's multiple victims. I don't know. Female child victim. I'll just show you that. And I'll just show you this one too. I won't have it here, but we have string leashes. So this could be that power control. Suffocation, strangulation, um, causing someone's airways to be closed off to prevent breathing. Okay. Any additional messages before we wrap up this portion of the reading spirit that you wish to share with us? We have vehicle. A vehicle is of importance. Transport. And that would be a nice connection, right? If there's DNA evidence in a vehicle, crime scene. Okay. To look, computer popped up again. So something key. So Spirit didn't today give us a lot of locale information. I can do a detailed reading with the landmarks just specifically. We could do that. But I sense that law enforcement has some critical information or has a hunch that there's um, computer data that can lead them or connect the dots. And that crime scene, there is a crime scene involved. So that means a crime has occurred um, in a vehicle transporting someone, moving him um, or him catching a ride with someone or thinking he's going one way and it doesn't end up being that way. And someone has ulterior plans or if something goes awry, um, power tripping and power control. And these people drive off and in their vehicle, they could have key evidence. Vehicle is of importance here. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Someone's vehicle, maybe on surveillance. Um, I don't know. We didn't get a surveillance card, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, that they didn't catch it. So I'm going to stop shuffling here because I could, I could just keep going and going and going. And I don't want to do that. We've got enough cards on the table. And I am thinking about doing a part two and, you know, or a future future readings related to this case, doing a more detailed tarot reading, maybe exploring some additional landmarks if that's what I'm called to do. Um, also, traits of the persons who may be involved. So I'll, I'll be sitting with this, taking notes on what kind of questions I'd like to ask for the detailed tarot reading. Let me know what you all think in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. Do you know about Miguel's case? Do you Have you heard about it? Please spread the word about it. That would be most, most helpful. Raise awareness. Um, his family is just sick over it. You know, they, it, you can't even imagine what a family is going through when their loved one is missing. And especially how scary it can be when law enforcement is saying that there could be some sort of criminal element associated. So let's let's keep them in our thoughts and prayers, okay? Do me a favor on your way out. Please hit the like button. That is your easiest way of raising awareness about Miguel's case by hitting like via the like button. I was looking at this about to say vehicle. And if you would like to see more content like this, subscribe. All right, my friends, take good care and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.